everyone welcome back to my channel this is prepping by faith and today we are going to be planting some vegetables so I already made a mistake since I'm new to gardening and I realized that if I was going to start seedlings for my tomatoes and bell peppers and that sort of thing I should have started those indoors about the end of March so I had to go out and buy a couple of plants so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna transplant these and then I'm also gonna sow some carrot seeds in one and some onion seeds in another one so carrots need a little bit deeper soil this one here is a 10 gallon bag that I filled with garden soil so we're gonna grow the carrots in this one and then I'm going to grow um, some onions in one and then we're gonna have some peppers in the other ones and then we are going to have some potatoes that I'm going to be growing. So we're going to have two tomato plants, two bell pepper plants, a carrot, an onion, and then we're going to have four um, potatoes. So we're going to get right into this in a second, and I'm going to show you guys what I've done, and we will go from okay, there. Okay, guys, so here is my bucket that I am using for the carrots. It's a 10-gallon bucket, and the reason is because I needed the height. I know carrots need a little bit deeper soil, and I filled the soil up probably about a couple inches from the top, and I've sown all my carrot seeds in here already. They're so tiny. If you guys have dealt with planting carrots before, I've never done it, so this is my first year. And if some of you guys are new to gardening and you're just curious about how this goes, you might wanna stick with me and follow my journey. So one of the things that I know you need to do is go ahead and water it deeply once you've planted them. So that's why there's a little bit of water running out the bottom. And then I've got this garden fabric here that I've already cut to fit. And I'm going to lay that on the top just to kind of help hold in the moisture around all of these carrot seeds. And so what I did with this is I had just taken this bucket and I flipped it um, upside down and then I just kind of traced it to kind of get it the right size for in here. It's a little off, but I think it'll do the trick. And so I know I need to keep these moist and covered and it's gonna take probably a couple weeks before those germinate. So I'm just gonna be checking the soil every couple days to make sure it's still moist because we don't want it dripping wet, but we do want it moist. And then, so this is the carrots and then I will show you the other ones in just okay, a moment. Okay, so this bucket is a seven gallon bucket and it is going to hold um, these little green scallion onions that I bought. So I've already sewn them in here about a half an inch apart and then I've covered them with a little bit of dirt and I have watered this one well. So the thing about onions I read is that they have to be fed high nitrogen every two to three weeks. If somebody wants to let me know if that's accurate down in the comment section, I would greatly appreciate it. So the biggest thing for me is just going to be making sure that these all stay um, moist enough for these things to grow and giving them six to eight hours of sunlight a day. So this is the one that I'm doing of the onion. Also something new for me. The only thing I've ever planted before guys in grow bags was potatoes and they were fingerlings. They did not make it. They did not do well. They didn't produce that much. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a better year for me and we're going to have a successful growing season. Okay guys, so this is the little tomato plant that I have here. It's a little sweet tomato. So what we've done is we've already moistened the soil. There's four inches of soil packed in there. And then we're going to put him in the center. And we're going to pack more soil around it. And then we're going to bury the stem. So we're just going to put a bunch more in here. And make sure we get that stem nice and buried. I'm getting packed in there really well. So he doesn't fall over and we're learning this year like I told you guys we don't know anything about gardening so this is just kind of a, a new journey for me a new journey for my husband I've drug him into this I'm sure he's not particularly <laughs> thrilled with learning how to garden and all of this stuff but it's something that I feel like we need to learn how to do and so this year is just a test year for me kind of getting used to doing this so I've pulled off, like I said, all those bottom leaves because I know that that um, can cause the plant to rot. So we've done that. And um, so I think we could probably add a little bit more soil in there just to make sure he's nice and stable. I did buy some stakes and things for these guys. So 
um, I will go ahead and put those in once they get a little bit bigger. The stakes are going to look pretty ridiculous because they're pretty tall. But And if you guys watched my Dollar Tree haul video that I did, I did buy some plant clips. So I have those as well already purchased for this process. So he's in there. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take a tablespoon of Epsom salt and sprinkle it around the base of the plant. And then we're just going to give him a really nice good watering. And that Epsom salt is also supposed to help guard against the rot. So at least that's what I read. So we're going to do this. We're going to water him in really well. And then hopefully he is ready to go. And then we will move on and I will show you guys um, one of the potatoes so you guys can see how that process okay, goes. Okay guys, so here's the potatoes. We have about four inches of soil in each bag and we are putting two potatoes to a bag. These are the organic potatoes I just picked up from Walmart. I had them stored in this box here um, and this is just the way that I decided to do it to get them to sprout. I had them in the basement. So you guys can do that. You can buy organic potatoes from the grocery store rather than ordering seed potatoes. And this is an experiment. We're planting two in each bag. Um, I know some people go ahead and cut these up and cure them and then just plant um, pieces. But I've read that you can also put the whole potatoes in here. So this is what we're going to do. These are seven gallon bags. I know you can plant two potatoes to a five gallon bag. So this should be okay. So now we're just going to cover them with um, about another six inches or so of soil. And then we're just going to give them a good watering. So that should be all there is to these potatoes. Praying that these grow this time. I tried growing the fingerlings and they did not do well at all. So <laughs> hoping that we get a lot more potatoes out of this go round. Okay guys, so this is the last thing we're going to plant. I have two buckets here that are ready to go for my red bell pepper plants that I purchased over here. These are just some sweet um, red bell peppers. And we're going to transfer them into these bags. They need about 10 to 12 inches of soil. So we're just going to put them in the center of each bag and then cover them well and then just go ahead and water them in. And the reason I didn't add any fertilizer to the soil is because it already comes with fertilizer in it. So I will add more fertilizer to these plants as needed. I'm going to be doing more research and trying to figure out what they need and just kind of monitor them and do the best I can by them and hoping that they all do really, really well. So this... I think these are probably going to be the easiest thing that we planted, <laughs> really. So I, I will go ahead and show you guys all of this stuff once we get it moved to our patio. I'm actually going to be growing this on our back deck this year because I feel like that is going to be the best place for them. So I will show you everything once we get them moved and relocated. Okay, guys, so this is where everything is going to live. So I have over here my carrots. This is the onion. This is one of the red bell pepper plants. Then over here I have my other two tomatoes, my other red bell pepper plant, and then I have moved my potatoes over here. And some of these things are probably gonna get have to get moved around. It's really overcast today, so it's kind of hard for me to get an idea of where the most sun will come in, but I'm pretty sure it's usually on this half of the deck. So. Um, for now, it's really kind of cool still in Colorado, so we're going to have to move all of these things in every night and then put them back out every morning for probably another two to three weeks. So that's kind of where we're at with that. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.